That was tiring. <coughs> like, I don't mind having to redo fights, but it's like... When it's part of the game's design to have you have to redo it, that's just... I just think that's bad game design. Papyrus, how you doing? So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I'd like to spend a lot of time. Okay, where is he going to take us? Okay, now we're going back. My house! <laughs> <laughs> this fucking game, man. This game is great. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. And move it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just... Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Oh, kitchen. So he follows you, he's always watching. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> It's my favorite game show! It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's just bars and tone. What even? It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Sure. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. What even? A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. That's my room. If you've finished looking around, we can go in and... Do whatever people do when they date. No. I wanna see what's going on over here. The door's locked. Well, fuck. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're gonna go into Papyrus' do room and do whatever people do when they date. <laughs> yeah, let's go in. He's got a race car bed. Oh my god. <laughs> it's looking great. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? No. Take your time. I'll wait for you. I'm probably making that a lot creepier than it should be. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away. From a double digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besigned my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. It sounds. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, she'll just go in. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Okay. Bookshelf. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. A game theory! Thanks for watching. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> I mean, he's not entirely wrong. Because we all have skeletons inside of us. Man, this reminded me of a really good stand-up routine that I want to quote, but I can't think of exactly. Ah, yes. Action figures. 
A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say if they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! <laughs> Santa just keeps bringing him extra fingers like, uh, okay, thanks, Santa. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. One wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> that's actually kind of neat. Okay. So, um, if you've seen everything, <laughs> do you want to start the date? Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't smell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We we're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. <laughs> Human. I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. I kind of want to be mean and say no, but I'm going to say yes, because I'm one to be nice. <laughs> really? Wowie! God, his face went all like kawaii, kawaii desu shit. I'm not a weeaboo, I swear. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes for sure you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandage hanging off of you. You're not wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, couldn't be. You've waited to date me from the very beginning. <laughs> No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, no, your dating power. Yeah, yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact. I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Ha! <laughs> yeah, what do you think of my secret style? That is hideous, but it made me laugh, so I love it. No. A genuine compliment. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. That's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. I don't know, man. I was on your dick, but man, whatever, man. <laughs> I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? My hat? My hat! My hat! <laughs> well, well then, you found my secret. <laughs> I suppose I have no choice. It's a present! A present is just for you! Aww, you sh <laughs> Do you know what this is? Of course! Spaghetti! <laughs> That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong. This isn't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, and then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. 
Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. Taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! No! Sound like the cat sound effect. Like KO! Oh, oh. You mean it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Dear God, I cannot keep doing this voice. I am like in physical pain right now. I'm gonna stop this voice. I'm just gonna do like the Sans voice for Papyrus. The water helps, but like legit, my throat cannot take this. It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I. Papyrus. I. Um. Boy. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I. I'm sorry. I don't like the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I had the great virus. I failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these ti through these trying times. I'll keep you I'll keep being your cool friend and act like all and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as I, as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> the freaking skeleton just friend zoned us. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and real quickly save. Again, one thing with games is like if I can save, I'm gonna save often. Especially with games like this where you uh get tossed back to your last save whenever you die. Okay. Let's let's see what's this way. I'm gonna try and go to the next save point and then probably end Mercury. Okay, that's grass or dirt or something. I couldn't tell what it was. Uh, I'm inheriting traits from Frank. It's horrible. Oh, oh, that, there's the next save point. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell me my don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Sure thing. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? <laughs> hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. 
Here, get comfy. Sans is like my role model. I want to be Sans. <laughs> no way, I am Sans. What, what am I talking about? Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries or burger? Burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have a double order of burg. So, what do you think? Of my brother. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. That's kind of gross. I guess that is kind of washing it, huh? Here comes the grub! Want some ketchup? Yeah. Bon appetit! You tip the ketchup. Cap falls off and all the ketchup is in, in, in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops! Eh, forget about it! You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Aww, that's nice. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he won't... He went to the house of the head of the royal guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. So are we going to eat the food or... Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, the pirates told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, the flower appears and whispers things to them. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Man, I got real serious real fast. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe it let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just, oh, no. Just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. We didn't even eat the food. We didn't even eat the food. What a waste. What a waste. Like legit, that's like a legitimate waste of food.